Hi guys, it's Robin from The Balanced Life. Welcome to your full body bar workout. For this routine, all you need is a mat and something to hold your balance. So maybe a chair or a countertop or the back of your couch. This is gonna be a full body workout. It's gonna feel so good to have done. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start in a standing position with our feet about sit bone distance apart. And let's just take a minute to find our posture today. So press both feet into the mat, spread your toes out, feel grounded into the earth, and then work up from there. So create a little bit of length in your lower back. Good, feel your rib cage back over your pelvis. Shoulders are open, relax on your back. Lengthening up through the back of your neck, lengthening out through the top of your spine and starting to lift the core just gently so that you're engaged, you're active, you're ready to move. Good. From here, let's take the hands to the hips. Inhale, just sit back into a chair position so you actually feel your booty go back behind you. You feel your sit bones widen and then stand tall. Bring your pelvis right back up. Good. Inhale and exhale. We're just doing a little warm up, getting things moving. Good, back and up. Sit bones back and up. Feel those sit bones widen behind you. That's how you're gonna get out of that tucked pelvis. You'll go to a lot of bar studios where they teach you to tuck, 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 tuck. Like, right, that's what they're known for, tuck your pelvis. Well, I am against that. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many clients I've seen who end up with back problems from the excessive tucking and the way that that creates muscle imbalance. So here in our bar classes, we're working with a neutral spine. We might tuck occasionally, but like right now, I'm getting you to actually sit those sit bones back behind you, feel them widen because our body needs to move that way. It was designed to move that way, okay? Functional fitness. All right, enough talking, Robin. <laughs> Let's sit back, hold, bring your arms forward, little pulses down and down. Can you lift the abdominals so they're drawing up towards your spine? Good, let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Standing tall, raise up onto the ball of the foot, bring your arms out to a T and just hold your balance here. A little challenging on the sand. Relax the shoulders, Woo! draw the abdominals up and in. Good, close and open, close and open, lift the thigh muscles up off of your knee. Yeah, that's a weird cue, right? But feel it. It helps you to engage those quads, lift the pelvic floor, wrap the abdominals around your waist. Three more, three, two, and one. Lower the heels, come into a wide stance. Let's go ahead and place one hand on our bar if you need it. Otherwise, arms just come straight out. We're gonna bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Good, three, two. Notice how my pelvis is upright. I'm not obsessing about the tuck and squeeze at the top. I'm actually getting a lift, lifting of the pelvic floor, lifting of the inner thighs, lifting of the glutes. Yeah, not a tuck, not a downward pressure, a lift. That's what we want. Good, four, this is awkward. Can you see how my bar is too short? <laughs> I'm just going with it, right? We might even just keep it out. <laughs> it's awkward anyways, having a chair at the beach. I think people are walking by going, that's weird. All right, hold your plie here. Good. Can you sit a little bit deeper? Good. Now, one hand on the bar, stretch over and back, over and back, just for five, three, four, Five, come to a T. Now from here, pulse your legs back. Back, back, four, five, six, seven. It's small, it's coming right here from the external rotators of the hip. Two, one, stand tall. Take your bar, place it on the other side of you. Plies again. We go down and up, down and up. Remember, we've got that lift on the way up. Three, four, shoulders are relaxed. Good, 
seven, eight, nine, hold on 10, nice and low, good. From here, let's go over and up, over and up, three, four, five, hold here, pulse back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, standing tall. Good, from here, we're gonna do a side tilt. So find your bar, depending on how high it is, you might go to your elbow or your forearm. If you have a low bar like I do today, just use a straight arm. You just want your torso in a side tilt on this long diagonal angle. Hand to your hip, here we go. Raise and lower, raise and lower. The knee and the top of the foot are pointing straight forward towards me. Four, five, six, good. Seven, you're gonna feel this on the outside of your leg as well as your standing leg. Hold here and lift, pulse it up, up, up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold on 10. Just breathe. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Take your bar back to the other side. We gotta keep it balanced. So find that torso tilt, side tilt. Here we go, lift for 10. Nine, good. Try to keep your torso nice and still. You're lifted on the underside. You're long through your spine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold on 10, pulse it. Go 10, nine, second side's always harder. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Nine, eight, seven, I'm shaking. Five, four, three, two and one, lower down. Beautiful, from here we're gonna head down to our mat for a quick ab section. Scoot your hips forward just slightly so you've got room on your mat to roll back. The arms are gonna come straight forward. Again, those shoulders are relaxed on your spine. Inhale to prepare and as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, round your way back to the mat all the way. Good, letting your head rest, your collarbone fall open. Knees are bent, feet flat on the floor. Take your right knee up to tabletop. Bring your left knee up to meet it. Glue those legs together. Inhale to prepare, exhale to curl up. We're going into double leg stretch. Inhale and exhale. Your chest stays lifted the whole time. Three, four, five. Get a little bit higher up on the tips of those shoulder blades. Ten, hold here, lift a little higher, both hands to your right knee as you stretch the left leg out and switch it. One, two, three, keep breathing. Ten, good, both knees come up, lift a little bit higher, rock yourself up to seating, seated and we'll end with rolling like a ball. So find your tucked position. Draw the belly button away from your thighs. Tuck your tailbone, roll back, roll up and hold. Rolling along the nice rounded spine and using that core control to balance at the top. You just roll back up onto the top of your spine, not up onto your neck, right up to the, I should say, the top of your back. Good, I'm a little rocking and rolling on the sand today. Tuck and roll. One more time. This is a wonderful massage for your spine. Just for fun, hold your balance at the top. Can we find a V, an open leg rocker prep? Can we hold this? Can we find it? Lift that chest up nice and high. Bring the legs back together, bend the knees, and you're done for the day. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this full body bar workout. If you enjoyed this workout, please click like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified whenever a new workout goes live. 
You can also click the link below to check out full-length workouts that you can do from home. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you back here very soon.